Celeste and Jesse forever. More like Celeste and Jesse for 10 minutes and Celeste for an hour. But an hour of Rashida Jones is never a bad thing, acting, writing, or otherwise. After reading the synopsis of this movie, I was looking forward to having a good cry in the theater. But with the all-star comedic cast and wonderful writer Rashida Jones, this movie leaned towards more of a strong reality coupled with lighthearted levity than a full-fledged tearjerker. That is not to say that this wasn't highly entertaining, oh. just not what I was anticipating from a movie about a divorced couple. Focusing more on how each individual copes with legally separating from their best friend rather than on the actual time of separation. This movie has multiple twists and turns and turnarounds that come back to the initial dilemmas that move the plot forward. These are not overdone, nor do they become tiresome. They do, however, give the movie a nice flow and do something that we so rarely see in theaters or television. It addresses an issue more than just once. Overall, I would say that Overall, I would say that this movie is worth the price of admission. It was well written, had a fun story, and it didn't allow the viewer to dwell on reality for too long before the comic relief came in, which makes it a safe date movie. What did you think, Katie? I really, I really liked the movie as well. It was really cool. Like it's, it was a, like a new take on kind of like a romantic comedy, where like she doesn't, they don't actually end up together, but like you know, it, I was reading stuff on it, and the premise of it was like. Can you be best friends with somebody like in all in all aspects, but still not like be right together? Yeah. And it was just a really cool, a uh, really cool thing. And and I read that it came from like Rashida Jones and Will McCormick's like own experience. They used to date and then like wrote this movie. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. And that kind of adds to the whole like best friend reality right. of the entire movie itself. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess if it's pseudo based on reality like that's fair but uh -huh. I really just I was looking for something more sad yeah yeah well I mean it, I mean it was kind of sad they I think they went more it was a little bit more sad than it was like watch this lady do kooky stuff because she yeah. you know she's yeah. like the guy doesn't love her anymore I I I like that they did that with it no for sure yeah um, so. price of admission doesn't stop with this review check out our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at POA reviews Tell us your favorite atypical date movie in the comment section. And we'll see you next time right here, unless we get canceled. Which we might, because that happens to us quite often. <laughs>